today we want to start with manual testing uh, concepts and what i want to do is uh, uh, first i want to explain why we need testing right what is the utilization what is the purpose of learning this manual testing or functional testing and what is what made it very important in the software right that is what uh, let me cover that uh, before we go for that uh, generally right in the general case uh, any any uh, application in the software or in this world is built for some purpose right uh, it's a problem solution that means first and foremost any manual tester or any functional tester should understand the business of the particular application it is not just okay they gave flow and we need to go with that flow and you know just do the testing also you also need to ensure that you are giving benefit to a particular application with your domain knowledge how the domain knowledge will come how the domain knowledge will come by learning just application business right and what is business can anyone explain me what is business or what is application uh, always or what is business can anyone reply to this i know you know day to day you see the business happening in the in this world and what is a what is the main agenda of the business people anyone please a so, day to day improvements and learnings mm, okay business right i'm talking about business anyone uh, to exchange goods and services sorry can you repeat mm -hmm. that to exchange goods and services mm -hmm. one of the business is that okay to get the profit by selling and their goods and services that's good yeah that is one of the one actual the if you go underlying uh, of the business is demand and supply right some people are expecting the particular product for example if they want to get you know if it is a pen business that means there is a demand there should be a demand for this pen pens then only uh, people uh, will you know business, uh, companies will manufacture it right right otherwise it doesn't make sense that uh, okay i will uh, make the pens and uh, if there is no demand for the particular pens when i say pen normal ball pen or something right uh, if, if there is no one is buying the pen why should i you know uh, make the pens manufacture right it doesn't make sense to us right so the business is nothing but demand and supply if there is a demand then there is a companies to supply it so that they make money out of it right that is about business now what is application or software i would say when i say application it's software application right uh, for what they are doing these applications right anyone can guess it can someone guess this please why we are developing applications in the software and you know this is the huge demand demand going on uh, for the software engineers or you know software testers whatever it is right because of we are doing some applications right applications use for their business need requirement that is correct right so this is for again business here also we need to have a catch you know application virtual solution for the business okay yeah that is correct there is a sketch here right okay if i take pen can i create a application for pen it doesn't make sense isn't it i mean i can create a website for pen but application and its business process is not required for pen right right that means there is a special section for the software application what is that here also software application we make for business no doubt out of it, no doubt in that but there is a special element to make it done that is called a uh, problem solution there is a problem for 
to for the particular business right and these applications will give solution for that that is what software applications do right uh increase the size okay so there's a problem solution right that means what is the example for problem solution right uh, in your day-to-day -day activities you can tell one example uh, you know you are using all mobiles in your hands right there are a lot of apps that you install in your mobile can you take one example out of that and tell me what is a problem and why they you know developed that particular app can someone any any application just give me one example right in your mobile you have some apps and uh, you're doing something out of it and there is a problem that was solution given through this app like let me yes exactly whatsapp someone said whatsapp uh, sai ready right whatsapp what is the problem here what was the problem and why this was introduced right so early before uh, we got smartphones uh, to exchange before smartphones, right? Uh, no, assume that before smartphones, uh, yeah, online payment apps, that is one of the solution that was given. Uh, before smartphones, what was the communication mode to exchange any text messages or, you know, uh, media messages like photos, uh, videos? It was like SMS or MMS, right? These were the more uh, that was used to before smartphones. That means you used to send a text message, which is very costly, uh, you know, from the from the you know service providers like Airtel, uh, whoever it is, right? Airtel, Vodafone, whatnot. So they were charging SMS and MMS, and it is very costly. <clears throat> and you know um, and not not that much user friendly as well or not no clarity right so to this was a problem statement that means okay we got internet internet can send the details over all the details like sms and mms but there is no platform to do it right uh, still uh, this internet providers are asking them to send an sms or mms which is huge cost right so WhatsApp come up with a solution called okay. I will create one app on app which will exchange the media of any format, it could be text or media or whatever it is, right? In with with internet and with no cost, no cost for each transaction earlier. Uh, earlier whatsapp also uh, charged uh, when you were yearly but now it is not there anyway but that was a that was a problem that sms and mms were transactional for every user and that is no clarity nothing is there and no privacy also there right but now whatsapp came up with a solution that hey i create an app that can you can exchange any kind of media and there is a encrypted format that means you, you know no one can hack you and no can no one can uh, no no know that what, what you sent right that was a solution and we started utilizing it that is a demand at that moment okay whatsapp was never there this kind of uh, media exchanges were never there now it's come came with the japan i think it was came from japan country right and then uh, uh, they start when people started utilizing across the countries and now it is very famous right that's what the software application means any application that you're working to there is a solution then only that application comes up and born otherwise it doesn't make sense to just give one application without any utilization right so that doesn't need anywhere because it is a very very uh, very very you know costly it's not easy easy, easy to build any application <clears throat> any questions so far i will pause here for a moment have you understood why we are developing software applications if anyone has a questions please open up or you can also chat i'm responding to chat as well right 
someone said uh, online payment apps right yes that is also uh, very uh, big solutions for making transactions online instead of you going to bank uh, you going to bank and paying something right uh, yes for the user comfort yes for the user see earlier uh, example i'm taking online transactions right earlier you need to go for bank for every transaction to make it and you know to get the details from bank what are the money you have like that it was it was like uh, painful now with this online payments and all you you easily doing this through your phone right which makes our life easy as well as bank transactions bank maintenance easy that means those charges were uh, reduced now right so that's where right they, uh, and one more main agenda of software application is to reduce the manpower uh, earlier to do you know for example if i take a banking application so how many resources were working to serve all the people to give account summary to give uh payments to receive the payments to i don't know there would there would be i don't know how many of you aware that in before so smartphones or before uh 2000s and 80s or 90s uh the banks are like you know having 10 to 20 counters for only transactions now it is one in every bank one or two but it it used to have 20 30 counters to take money and receive you know give money that is the transactions right that was a huge maintenance isn't it that was reduced because of all the software applications i know people make uh, you know comedy about software uh, industry but it is giving many solutions to the world in in terms of uh, anything right anything that you take in nowadays without software nothing will run everyone is, everyone is based on software Right, that is what the importance that we have for software industry. Now, coming to, I uh, hope I, I, there is no questions. I can go forward, right? If 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 you are agree with that, just type yes or something like that. Okay or something. Oh uh, yes, sir. No questions. That's great. Uh, so now, okay, we talked about software. Very great, and it is a solution provider. Okay super now what we need uh, who, who are the stakeholders of software development that means software application development in a nutshell uh, we need developers uh, apart from management and product owners which is you know apart from all of us the core team will be developers testers and ba or po right these are very important roles right so okay you know how what is developers what they do they build this using some technology or language called java or something like that right they build that particular application very good and what b and b and po will do is okay these are b and po are very important for us what they do is they identify the problem and of the particular business and they say that hey if you able to automate this when i say automate and see automation is not automation is not just test automation guys uh, process automation is what uh, business automation right business automation is what software application okay well if you're able to automate your business that means create application out of it you will benefit of you'll you'll get benefit of all these aspects like that right these people ba or po product owner will identify it for the particular business and then that will be come to us as a project that means what this ba will do is okay if someone has a business they will go for the particular business and say hey uh, this is your business is currently you're doing this much of manual testing that means manual uh, work uh, uh, they will go to the business and and see all the areas or sectors how they they are operating right and they will see these are all manual which can be automated when i say automated again it is not test automation 
process auto is not business automation that means uh, creating a software application right so they will suggest that hey this all can be automated by creating a software application and i will help you on this part uh, it will benefit you this much and you don't need this much of manpower so it will save like millions of dollars or something like that right if you remove some manpower definitely it is a savings right but they need to give some cost to software development that is a different story as a one word one time investment but what he will do is he will analyze all the business that is called business analyst he will analyze the business and come up with the requirements to create a software for them right and he will once he got all the business analysis and get the you know get the uh, uh you know requirements he create a business requirement document or brs right business requirement document or functional requirement document we call them as that is what they will give to software development team where the software development will consist of these people again along with managers and all different stakeholders will be there now what developers will do based on the business requirement document they start designing it first every application first start with design right that means software application will start with first analysis that is and then they will design it and then they will develop it and then here where the test comes under the picture test it and then once you got sign off that means sign off means testing team should give sign off that okay i'm good with this business now you can start deploy it deploy to prod that means business can start utilizing it and start use it right so this is the process in a nutshell we'll talk about this very 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 detailed part uh, in the introduction i'm just giving you a nutshell so that you'll understand what what are the next concept that i'm going to talk okay now anyone has any questions on this process just a nutshell process if not right see uh, let me ask you this way if someone asks you to hey can you can you uh, any you know build any uh, prototype of your home that means just with cardboards uh, uh, just build your home structure what do you do you will first analyze it how to do that right how to do this home with a cardboard okay i need a cardboard and i need a, some papers to attach it and then i need a design that means it there should be a wall here there should be a you know uh something something right uh you design it first and then you start cutting the uh, cardboard and you build it right likely any application or anything in the industry in the in this world first start with analyzing that means you know to understand the, what i am doing right not not only uh developers in this case you also need to understand what I am going to do. What is the business of this particular uh, company? What I have to build for them, right? First, you need to give why questions and what questions. Okay, why should I do this, right? Uh, you know, for what I am doing this. Okay, they asked to do a, a button there. For what I am doing this? What is the utilization for them? This button and this functionality that is what your mind should do so it should be first thing is right you have to understand the business and analyze the business okay they are doing some business example take whatsapp only what their business they come up with the requirements that hey i need to exchange the text i need to exchange the media i need to exchange the photos i also need to give status something blah 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 these are the requirements that they give now exchange the text you need to understand why they want to exchange the text what is the problem here and what is the solution that we are giving for them right this should be your mindset always this should be your mindset then only you will be like you know very productive in the software industry <clears throat> if you someone say that hey 
uh, hey keep this book from here to there will you do it some people will do it definitely there is a some uh, some area of section to do that but as an educated person if you have some if i ask you to hey keep this book from here to there that's it there is a some reason for that right to do that right maybe this book book is falling here and i ask you to safeguard that book and keep it in the cupboard or something like that, or organize your books in the right way like there's a purpose of it right there's a very very good purpose of it so that's what you need to analyze the business why we are developing this application for the particular business people then you will understand okay this is what the requirement and this is what i need to test once it is developed why i'm asking all this is okay while analyzing it you may get lot many questions lot many questions right it, it is not it could be could not be a just like that right then this person responsibility is to clarify that questions and he his responsibility is also give you understanding of the clear understanding of the business that's what that is a crucial cause that happens in every uh, software company you need to hear that very carefully and get it done see here itself you you will grab your knowledge functional knowledge or domain knowledge which is very important for every business if you have a domain knowledge right you are a crucial person in the team that's where people generally grab that knowledge okay any questions so far <clears throat> okay let me go forward right so after analysis what we do design that means uh, this is main of architectural design uh, main useful for developers but i recommend you also to understand this design so that you can easily write the test cases which is your 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 portion but uh, this will let you understand how people are working under the name i mean how, how the application will work in the background so this will make you understand which will make you powerful while you're doing testing see people few people only test okay by understanding the analysis analysis and you know uh, and just getting the business by going to ui and just go the flow which is very important i don't deny it also few people will go technical testing which is very important in software development companies that means they also understand designs of the particular software development and then they do both the ways of testing one is business use cases and the other one is technical use cases that is background okay this is this data if i give this data this is how it works if i twinkle this data it may fail because the design has a flaw right that kind of testing is also needed in software industry because you your job tester's job is always to break the system whatever way it is don't treat application as your baby you do treat applications as you are so these two are very important for you i know i just went a bit uh, uh, forward uh, you know without telling you what is a role of testers in the software industry software right testing or quality engineer or quality assurance right so what is the role what is it this person is important why this person is very important in the software development teams right example i'm taking normal example day-to-day -day, your day-to-day -day life example right if you buy a pen yeah you know in in, in in any shop right what you do when you go to shop bookshop and ask for a pen they give a pen for you very good uh, what is the next steps you just take that pen and go you know get out of the shop no right what you do is first you start open the pen and you'll in in a, in a very very small amount of time what you do is you'll check how the pen is writing how smooth it is and how the grip it is is it useful for me is it uh, very 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 uh, very very useful for me to write and not very really comfortable to me write it down or not right these are all 
you will check it in one or two minutes and we will take the pen right or sometimes you may have a favorite pen because you already used it you'll start taking the same pen now right that is what testing from customer right you are testing it customer is testing it right now now before see this pen they cannot make it for one day or two day they need to sustain in this business forever right that means to make this pen they need to uh, come up with a you know very good grip very nice you know uh, ink that writes in a very smoother way like that right that means they while making that pen they should have um, have tested it in different ways assume that you just one or two minutes you tested many things but how the pen making company will test the particular pen to release it to market because they need to capture the market otherwise it's not a, it, it's not going to make a business or money to them right so what they do let me give small example small testing cases that they do test cases right what they do so they they ensure that the grip is good or not right the testers will ensure that a pen company testers and the, it is smoother or not and they will write this pen forever until the ink is done or not and they will write with pen with different environments or different temperatures to ensure that pen is working or not like you know the customers may be not just works in the office sometimes they work in a heated heated environment or hot environment or cold environments or different temperatures they are they are selling to entire world now right they need to ensure all this are working they will write this pen in different environments and different temperatures and different directions as well right not only just writing with uh, one direction it may be 180 degrees one time 190 75 45 25 like that right different directions and then only that they will make it they will release this pen to the outside the world okay now you can utilize this pen it is working as many cases that we tested it right that means to release one pen a, a, a small a pen that is utilized by us they are doing n number of testing to ensure that Nothing is breaking to customers. Otherwise, they will lose the business, right? Now, assume that now the software application application is developed for some business, isn't it? And not the pen business, for example, WhatsApp business or whatever business, payment business example, right? I will take business as payment. Now you are developing a software for that, isn't it? Uh, payment business and you are developing a software, right? now if you not tested all the cases what will happen not tested rightly on all the cases what will happen what is the impact this software is we started by utilizing the customers for the particular business and if it is not working as expected this is business that is the particular for the particular company will lose the funda that means they lose the business or the payment gateway right that's a problem that's the biggest problem that means they will lose entire business and they will be out of the market which is like collapsed that that's where software testing also is very important for business people okay See, uh, if I'm a developer, right? I do this development. I always think positive. Hey, my my code will always work, right? They they will be in this that mode of, uh, you know, that mode of uh, thinking that it always works. But testers is what they they do left and right of the particular uh, functionality, and they will find the bugs, right? That's what important for business as well. Okay, come up with the bugs. I will analyze that bugs, and if it is really uh, required, that we have to be fixed, right? Sometimes, uh, you know, early 2000s, early 2000s, right? There were no testing happening, <clears throat> right? Uh, no testing at all. No testing. Just uh, like I said, developer will do something and directly to fraud, 
this was a this was how it was developed for software development no testing was happening what was the problem standing the analysis analysis and then uh, uh, and just getting the business by going to ui and just go the flow which is very important i don't deny it also few people will go technical testing which is very important in software development companies uh, that means they also understand designs of the particular software development and then they do both the ways of testing one is business Test. use cases and the other one is technical and use cases. many people that is background okay this is this data if i give this data this is how it works if i trickle this data it may fail because the design has a flaw right that kind of testing is also needed in software industry because Test. you your job testers job is always to break the system whatever way it is don't be. application as you your read application testers what software testers main agenda or main responsibility is main main responsibility is to give best quality quality for what to the software product that we are developing or product or software application i would say okay whatever application that we are involved we need to be very cautious uh, software testers are very responsible here that's where uh, if the responsible testers are there the uh, companies are not ready to lose them even though they are okay to lose some developers but they are not ready to lose the software testers who are very responsible and very 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 strong in domain knowledge that's where you know to capture your yourself that's what what we are discussing today is for functional testing which comes under this section okay any questions so far okay with this i i just showed you what is the importance of this role that you are going to learn and why people are learning this and capturing this i know few people are are very scary about coding and they want to learn testing but that is one of the area but you also need to focus for yourself to make yourself important that is how to learn the domain knowledge and how to be responsible in testing so with this course right uh, so you know with the help of senior technology i know you are getting this uh, uh, if i if you ask me if i was a fresher like this and uh, or some experienced candidate to get this knowledge i would say it's a it's a great uh, opportunity for me so this is what we are going to cover in this course right this is the curriculum uh, maybe you can request this from the serial technologies you'll also get it and each of this item will be covered in our next 30 or 35 days right i will be giving some assignments while i'm doing it as a real time assignments like asking you to come up the some test cases and maybe i will ask you to test it in an application and get some domain knowledge of it let's brainstorm discuss further more on it some working sessions will be there in the weekend sometimes right along with day to day uh, activities so that you will get some experience as well uh, along with your knowledge right so i just want you to give my experience which will make you uh, yourself some one plus or two plus experience sometimes right so this is what we are going to cover guys uh, like uh, course content you can what is testing what is software model and features of software development and uh, different approaches different kinds of testing planning what we do in the day to day activities in the real time we will be going, going to cover that and uh, as i said these are prerequisites anyone who has a computer knowledge is fine for me i can make you expertise in our uh, testing and there are different modules that we divided one is for software testing introduction that's what we are doing today and software development life cycle next next one right and uh, it may go a couple of days software testing methodologies test case design very important for your day to day activities and levels of testing right in the functional testing there is a levels also and there is a non functional testing as well software testing life cycle how do you start your testing and where do you start your testing how do you end your testing right life cycle will be there and then 
you know, question and answers and testing the project level questions and all right so you can request this from Sinu technologies and get this curriculum so we go by this curriculum okay there is a question nowadays in real time developers and testing application using manual testing or not they do swap now they do use uh, ma see manual testing is uh, you call that as manual testing but yeah manual testing i think but functional testing what is functional testing uh you know uh that is what business flow testing right business flow uh, as like i said every business will have some flow that has to be tested thoroughly otherwise that business people will be losing it i know the question came up what is manual testing and what is automation right that could be our question uh, is there automation testing uh, why should we do manually now right yes so there is an automation testing which is very very important in your career to be, uh, accept that but without manual testing nothing can be possible see whenever a feature is developed or a requirement is developed you do testing manually first okay whereas to do automation once you're done with manual testing and happy with whatever you tested right then automation will come into the picture and you automate that and then keep that in the regression regression is one of the concepts that we have uh, i will ju just give a nutshell right regression is nothing but in today in our development area you developed a feature and you put that into production for the particular business tomorrow you enable another feature and you want to put that in the production you cannot just test feature two and put that in the production right you also need to test feature one isn't it along with feature two when i say feature it's one of the component maybe okay in the application that is called regression regression means ensuring that already released activities are not uh know, broken because you are enabling one more right so that is what automation area comes up and uh, and uh, uh, that is where our automation is very important to ensure we're saving some time to do a regression test but manual testing is important and we are doing it so there was a question are you implement real-time projects sir oh you mean in this course uh yeah that's what i said uh, working session right and giving assignments to you kopal rao yeah definitely you'll get something uh, out of it okay Thank you, Tim. Have a great day. Bye-bye.